Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today we're gonna to give you guys a quick tour of our 2015 Lance 1172 that we have for sale. That's right, we've been asked plenty of times, uh, why, why have we never posted our camper up for sale and done a video uh, before we sold it? So here you go, we're gonna do that. The camper is up for sale. We're gonna do a tour of it. Check it out on the inside, on the outside, and also the truck, cause it uh, will be possibly up for sale as well if somebody wants to buy the whole package. So let's go. As we said, our 2015 Lance 1172 is for sale, so if you're interested, uh, you can check out all the contact information below the video as well as information about the camper and possibly the truck if you're interested in that as well. So let's get it into the tour of the Lance 1172 now. I'm just going to give a quick tour of the inside of the Lance 1172. One thing that we absolutely love about this camper, so much so that we've had two of them, is the space on the inside. As you can see, it's very spacious. Um, on the back, it has a couch, which, you know, that is definite bonus because it's nice to be able to relax back here. It has kickouts on it, so you can kick your feet up. Nice storage underneath the, the couch here. Yeah, a lot of storage underneath there. A lot of storage there. underneath there. Yeah. Um, one thing about the 2015 that some of the newer models don't have is this window right here. I don't know what year they stopped, started not putting that in, but it is really nice to have the window yeah. right there. Um, you got the pantry there. Got the pantry here with the pull out thing here, which I really love that with all the space. Yeah, it's it nice. The same amount of space below this and just, uh, you know, just shelf space there. Um, the couch is on the slide. The dinette is on, on the slide. This has a nice big kitchen, very spacious, a lot of uh, storage up above, as you'll see. Um, three burner cooktop here. Um, it has a convection microwave down below, which at first I was skeptical about that, but I absolutely ended up loving it. And yeah, that was a surprise. That was a surprise because we, I, I had all intentions of replacing it with an oven, but I ended up really enjoying yeah, it. It actually it's works really well. It does. Um, lots of storage below the sink. It goes all the way back in there. More storage up above. It goes all the way back in there as yeah. well. You know, it has just a ton of storage. And not there. having an oven down here does give you uh, more room up here because there would normally be a microwave up there. So you have more cabinet space. Yep. In the front here, it has a ceiling fan. Yeah, ceiling fan, skylight. Skylight, which helps with, you know, let a lot of light in, so that's really nice. It also, one thing I forgot to mention at the front was that it has a lot of lighting throughout the camper, so it's what, very well lit with LED lighting. It all, this, uh, this is the dinette. It's a, it's a very large four-person dinette. You almost could fit six people, but I wouldn't push it. Um, we also have the what's called a bunk bed that drops down. Some people use them for storage. So yeah. we have that as well. And it's included with the camper. It's just not in because we yeah. didn't use it. Yeah. And this will make into a bed. Yeah. Now I don't know how wide, but it's pretty big. We've never made it into a bed or never used it. Never so it so, um, has nice vinyl flooring, pretty neutral as far as the colors go. Yeah. Um, I did forget to mention it has this little kick out on the side of the so yeah. adds for additional counter space mm -hmm. here. And then and some drawers down beneath that. Yeah, drawers down beneath that, which I put my silverware in. Okay. It has a double bowl sink there. It's kind of molded into the the countertop, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about water coming down into below the sink mm -hmm. there from the when you wash dishes. It has a six and a half cubic foot refrigerator it's a norfolk and pretty large get lots of stuff in there yeah it's worked great for us it's, it's worked great and one thing about this this one is it doesn't have those handles that stick out that you know can break off this this one actually has flush yeah like that handles has a jensen tv that you can flip around to view from the couch the dinette and the bed you can flip it around this way to see from at least this side of the bed okay um there is there are huge drawers under each side of the dinette, which also yeah. allows for like way, way more storage there. Todd, 
Todd would always put his stuff in that one. I would always put all my stuff in this one. As far as our clothes go. All right, moving on into the uh, bath. Has a mirror on the outside of the bathroom door. Um, Has a new ceramic bowl toilet just put in. I think it was a Dometic 310, if I remember correctly. Storage underneath the, the sink, big countertop, medicine cabinet, fan, bathroom with a shower. The shower is a little bit uh, sun faded. And it so, has the towel, I mean, the shower bar that pulls out and it makes extra room in the shower yeah. there. So the shower walls, I've seen, we've seen people either paint them or you can actually replace them. It's not a big deal. It's just uh, due, due to the sun. There's nothing wrong with it. It works great. We were going to do that, but just didn't so, get around to yeah. it. So, um, the, what BTU is this one? I'm not sure what the size of the air conditioner is, but the, the heat and air conditioning are, are both controlled uh, by the thermostat. That. So that's cool. Very nice. Very nice. Full size residential queen bed. Excuse me. Residential queen size bed. It's not a full size. It's a queen size okay. residential bed. Yeah, it's a nice, big, very comfortable space. Got Todd the... added the lights reading lights on the tops of the bed there yeah. those are cool they have usbs built into them and wardrobe mirrored wardrobe storage on the sides of the bed storage on both sides as carla said it's got the day night shades stereos up there storage above the above the bed there's a little little rack there now those uh, night lights that i put in actually have a blue light and a white light and uh, they work really well. That's a skylight back there as well. Skylight. skylight. Camper does have a brand new lithium compatible converter that I put in right there. Works great. So if somebody wants to install some lithium batteries, they can do that since it's been upgraded. There's a dog window, which not all the new ones have that. Dog window. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so... I think that's about all on the inside. If you have questions, you can put them below or you can reach out to us with an email that you'll find in the information below as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a quick walk around on the outside. Okay, so we're gonna just do a quick walk around on the outside. As you can see, the, the camper does have a white front cap, which I really like. Some of the newer ones all come with gray, but it doesn't really matter what the color is, but I do like the white front cap on there. It goes with the rest of the camper. And the truck, we'll talk about that here in just a moment when we're done talking about the outside of the camper just in case somebody is interested in the truck to go along with the camper but out here uh being the uh 2015 model it does have a manual awning uh, which has worked great we've used it a few times and uh enjoyed it some people actually prefer manual awning over electric but uh either way it works great uh water heater we do have some new exterior speakers they work great there's a new water pump that I just put in in here, and that works great. Uh, two 30-pound propane tanks, so it got, holds a lot of propane. And then the furnace, and obviously the door. We did put a uh, keyless entry RV lock on there, so uh, that's that's wonderful. So you can just push the button and lock it up when you want. And uh, we did also add some some steps and put the carpet covers on there everything works great and uh just walk on around to the to the back here so around back you have the large rear slide that holds the couch and uh, so that's why it's the rear slide is so big but on the back of the slide is a large rear window you have two rear uh what they call docking lights that come on with the reverse lights down below so when you put your truck in Reverse, all four lights come on, so it works really great if you get into a campsite late at night. The camper does come with a backup camera and the screen, and uh, that works good. And uh, it also has electric jacks all the way around, so you can do all four at one time, or two and two, or you can do them individually, it works great. Down below the slide is a large storage area. And this is a really big storage area, and you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, so that has been really good and 
over there on that behind that door is just basically some electrical uh, components and stuff I think for the slide or whatever and then on this side is the 2500 watt Onan propane generator works great it's only got 56 hours on it and uh, that's about it snap pads and the snap pads yeah we've got some brand new snap pads they're gonna go with the, the camper and that's about it for the back of it let's go around to the driver's side on the driver's side you got the ladder at, on, the, on the rear corner which I've actually really come to like this ladder it's very sturdy and uh, since it goes all the way from top to bottom it's easy to get on and off of it and uh, it's got three little hinges that fold down and and so far this is my favorite ladder I think I've ever had on a, on a camper it's just really solid works great uh, again the, the large slide here that has the, the dinette it's got extra storage up there um, it has the the water uh, drains, the fresh water drains and the, the gray and black drains and that sort of thing. The uh, outdoor shower was in here. I can actually, that can go with it. I still have it if somebody wants to put that back in. And personally, I prefer not to have it and to have that extra space and, and to use it for storage, but um, it can go back in if somebody wants it. So um, this is just empty storage there. We've never even put anything in there. And uh, so, but it does add for a lot of extra storage. I got a key open for one of them. Yeah, these are pretty large too. Yeah, they go. There go. There's the crank handle there. And yeah, uh, yeah never put anything in them. Yep. Is the, the back of the refrigerator. I mean, you can see that the camper is super clean and it's been well maintained. And when we got the camper, the gentleman that owned it, owned it before us, he had it, I think, for about six years and he kept it under a pole barn. And we've kept it in the garage ever since we've had it. So it's really maintained in great shape. But the roof is in excellent condition. It's very, it's clean, it's in great shape, no problems there. And, uh, that's pretty much about it. One thing I did want to show, one last little thing, is underneath the slide, there's something on this camper that I have not seen on the newer ones, and even our 2020 Lance did not have. So let's go underneath the slide, check it out. One thing that I like about this camper underneath the slides are these runners that the wheels and the rollers uh, for the slide roll on. So that's definitely an upgrade that a lot of the newer ones don't have. So I think that looks like it came from the factory because it's all riveted in. It's very nicely done. Our 2020 model did not have that, as well as the large slide also has two of the, the Schwintec glides up there for extra support. So I think it's very nicely done on the slides and, and uh, they've worked well. The camper also comes with the stable camper system that uh, works great. There's the bars there. So when you take the camper off the truck, it holds it nice and stable while you're camping. Now, if anybody's interested in buying the truck and the camper, we can also do that. We are thinking about selling the truck. It is a 2020 Ford F450 cab chassis with a CM skirted flatbed on it. And it has been a great truck. It's only got 25,000 miles on it and it's actually still under warranty. So uh, as we walk around, um, it's it's got the aluminum wheels on it. It's got some uh, new tires on it, just 4,000 miles ago when we bought the truck. We've only put 4,000 miles on it. And uh, the tires are great. Did add the chrome uh, step, step rails there. And uh, this truck is an XLT, so it's got the cloth interior. It does have the keyless entry on the driver's side, which I really love. I've grown to really enjoy that. It's got the Good size screen on the dash, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and uh, it's got tinted windows. It's been a very comfortable truck to travel in. The bed is great because, you know, having a skirted bed gives you a lot of extra storage. And, you know, when you're camping, putting power cords and hoses and whatever it is, and those, it's just, I keep my toolbox and up here in this one, and it's just been great to have all the extra space for tools. And right now we got this uh, truck and this flatbed set up for a truck camper. 
I've got the rail in there. It's wired for a seven pin plug on the other side for the camper to plug into. And uh, did actually put some airbags on it as well. So if you're interested in the, in the truck, as well as the camper, let us know. Again, our contact information will be down below. There you have it, our 2015 Lance 1172 that we have for sale. That's right, here's a full tour of it, as well as a quick tour of our Ford F450 that's for sale. If you're interested in both of them, let us know. Uh, otherwise, we're not gonna sell the truck without selling the camper first. Um, otherwise, you know, we may just you know, end up keeping the truck, but we'll see, but it, it is a possible package deal if you're interested in both. So that's about it. If you got any questions, please contact us through the link down below and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can and hope you enjoy the tour and we'll see you next time on Runway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.